Across the past several months, GenPact has been closely studying what the environment is going to be for retail and consumer goods clients across the next 10 years. Our research effort has identified three trends which we believe will be critical to their ability to compete. The first one being optimized reality and how increasingly the human within the value chain is going to expect a much more advanced, connected, data-driven experience. They want businesses to really anticipate their needs. And having an ethical impact is essentially about ingraining a business within the society that surrounds it. Um, and alongside that, there's clearly the rise of whole system planning and taking into consideration all of those unconnected dots joining them up and therefore allowing yourself to be more instinctive about the changes that are going to come. In future, consumer goods retail companies would cater to personalization, would cater to sustainability and consumer well-being. Retail and consumer packaged goods are going to go through a continued uh, dramatic evolution. We've seen the rise of personalization, uh, the rise of the experience economy really impact how retail is serving the consumer and how uh, consumer packaged goods have to tailor their products to specific individual tastes. It's only going to accelerate from here. As consumer goods company get ready for the future, one of the key challenge they are dealing with is agility. Large mega companies fixed in their rigid cost set, their ways of doing things, versus a lot of small and nimble companies. Very quick to adapt, very short cycle time for a new product introduction. That agility is going to be a big challenge for these CPG companies. We expect consumer goods companies to have much more agile supply chains that can ramp up and ramp down, very closely linked to the product development organization. It's something that we call the change from supply chains to supply brains. The businesses that pay attention to these macro trends will survive and thrive in the coming decade. Those that don't will find it very difficult to predict and connect and understand what's going to happen in the future.